Guys, I have some sad but breaking news, and it's about Johnny Menzel. Johnny Menzel has been officially indicted by the Dallas County District Attorney's Office um, in Dallas uh, for assault with bodily injury. It's a misdemeanor charge, but again, he's been indicted for assault with bodily injury, and again, it's a misdemeanor charge for um, hitting his ex-girlfriend. Um, by going by the police report and um, her accounts, and I'm going to leave the girl's name out of it, but going by the police report, uh, basically, Johnny Menzel was driving from an uptown bar, um, going dr to drive her home, and basically he proceeded to uh, hit her uh, while driving the vehicle. Uh, she tried to exit the vehicle, he stopped, dragged her back in, this is going by the police report, and proceeded to hit her again um, after he put her back in the vehicle as she was trying to get out and exit the vehicle. Um, when when she got to the hotel, basically she's she basically told the police that she told a valet, uh, please don't let him take me. And uh, according to the police report, um, she basically said, "I'm scared for my life." Um, so basically, I don't know if this is the same girl that Johnny Menzel um, was in trouble with, or um, basically was was uh, pulled over for um, when a girl claimed that basically uh, he put her hands on her. I don't know if this is the same girl or not. But um, this is this is a you know this is a a case that's happened. Now the police did not arrest Johnny Menzel at the time. Um, basically, they let it go to a grand jury, um, which just happened. And it's just funny. I just made a video about Johnny Menzel and a um, taco company basically putting out a billboard stating that they would hire Johnny Menzel. Um, they actually they actually put out a billboard, and you can look at that in my other video. As I was making that video, this just happened. So you can check out that video, but um, basically the police let this go. Um, they did not arrest Johnny Menzel on the scene. They let this go to a um, grand jury. Um, to see if there could be an indictment to press the charges against Johnny Menzel. So this looks like Johnny Menzel is probably going to get arrested for this because the indictment, of course, came back. Um, the, the jury basically said, yes, there's enough evidence uh, to do this. It's also to note that there was a civil, civil settlement in this case um, that's undisclosed uh, between uh, Menzel and his ex-girlfriend. And um, that's also to note, too. So there's kind of like two things here. There's two parts of the story is the assault itself and basically the settlement. Now, I'm saying it's a civil settlement. I, I, I didn't say it was, it was a civil um, court proceedings. When you, when you go to civil court, uh, basically what happens is anything that you say can go on a record towards a criminal case. In a civil, uh, in, in a civil action or a civil suit case... Um, you have to testify. If you don't testify, then the judgment goes into the favor of the other person. So basically, you have to testify or it goes into the favor of the other person. Now, I'm not saying that it was a civil um, proceeding, a civil court. It was a civil settlement. But if it was a civil uh, court proceeding or there was a court proceeding and he said anything, that could be used against you in criminal court. That's typically why people have the criminal case before they have the civil case. Um, that's just typically why, because things can be held against you, uh, whatever you say in the civil case. So I don't know, but it's a civil settlement that happened. It's undisclosed. Um, but basically also the judge found enough evidence to grant an, a, protection, a protective order against Johnny Menzel, against his ex-girlfriend, Johnny Menzel cannot get within 500 feet of his ex-girlfriend till February 3rd of 2018. So that's basically two years. Um, so um, the judge found sufficient if, uh, enough sufficient evidence to, to basically grant a protective order, um, not just for a year, but almost two years. Um, against the ex-girlfriend. So again, I have no idea if this is Johnny Menzel's, again, a girlfriend that he previously dated that was um, in another matter. But again, it's official. Yes, Johnny Menzel has been indicted on a basically an assault charge. Now, it's probably going to be a simple assault just looking at the information because it is a misdemeanor. And simple assault, and typically with bodily injury, it's basically just like maybe like some stitches happened or some bruising. It's not significant damage. But either way, um, this is very alarming with, with domestic violence um, being so prevalent in the NFL. And, um, you know, for that company, when I was making that video, that company taking out that billboard, um, I thought it was bad taste. Uh, basically, there was a taco company that 
yesterday, just yesterday, they put out um, now hiring. Um, they basically put out Johnny Menzel. Um, we're now hiring. Okay, that's what they put on their billboard. And it got them a lot of public attention. I mean, you know, people came out to go see the, the, the taco company. They took pictures of the sign. They got a lot of publicity. Well, how's that look now? Um, now do you want to hire Johnny Menzel? Now do you want to do that? Maybe you should take that down from your billboard um, because maybe it's a little bit less funny now. Um, that's just my opinion. But again, you can go back to my previous video to look at that. But it's official. Johnny Menzel has been indicted for a misdemeanor assault charge with bodily injury towards the ex-girlfriend. And yes, there was a civil settlement prior to this. This just happened. This is breaking news. Um, and it's kind of sorry to hear um, and, and kind of sorry to break that uh, because of everything. But that's really it. And again, this is coming after Drew Rosenhaus last week just dropped... Um, Johnny Menzel as an agent. If people don't know who Drew, Ro Drew, Drew Rosenhaus is, he's an agent of a lot of high-profile athletes and even controversial athletes. He was um, he Drew Rosenhaus really got his notoriety uh, to fame um, as an agent itself, a household name, when he was basically um, the agent of Terrell Owens. When Terrell Owens was when the NFL didn't really Terrell Owens was having problems with the NFL. Um, Terrell Owens never had issues like this off the field. It was, Terrell Owens was basically on the field issues or um, in the locker room issues. But basically, Drew Rosenhaus was his agent when people didn't think Terrell Owens would make that much more money or have that many teams barking at his door. And Drew Rosenhaus was able to get Terrell Owens significant amount of money and realistically to get him a new team with the Dallas Cowboys. And it worked out for the Dallas Cowboys and Terrell Owens made his money. But what I'm trying to say is Drew Rosenhaus, that same agent, dropped Johnny Menzel last week. And also to note, Nike has officially dropped um, any sponsorship of Johnny Menzel. So Johnny Menzel has lost uh, his, his, his Ashley Panini and Nike sponsorships. And he's also lost it, um, his agent. He's actually lost two agents in the last two months. The agents have fired Johnny Menzel. So usually the, the, the athlete fires the agent. The agents have dropped Johnny Menzel. So maybe Drew Rosenhaus knew more than we knew. Okay, Maybe there's a reason for it. Um, maybe he's seen this coming. I mean, Drew Rosenhaus, they do study law. So anyway, um, to make a long story short, it looks like, um, he, you know, again, he's indicted. Not convicted, he's indicted, there's a difference. Um, so Johnny Menzel has been officially indicted um, in Dallas and is facing a assault charge um, with bodily injury. So guys, tell me what you think about the, um, basically the taco company, <laughs> um, their, their billboard, and also what you think. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. Guys, tell me what you think. Hate to break the news, but it's official. Thank you.